Welcome back to Crane & Company. I'm David Cohn. I'm very honored to be joined today by South Carolina head coach Shane Beamer. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. So great to be on with you. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Notched eight wins in year two. You bring back your quarterback. Uh, you know, what, what is your mindset in the offseason to be able to take the program to the next level after getting some huge wins against Tennessee and Clemson late in the season? Yeah, it was great momentum the way that we finished the season. So continuing to build on that uh, in recruiting and, and on our own team but then also realizing that we have a lot of work to do. And that there's a lot that, for all the good that we did last year, there's a lot that we need to improve and be better at. And for us, it's really just ever since we came back in January, focusing on the areas that we have to improve and, and uh, understand that every year is a new year and uh, every year is starting over in so many ways. And this year is no different. Well, Spencer Rattler was one of the most sought-after quarterbacks in the country coming out. You recruited him, got him to Oklahoma, and when you came over to South Carolina, you know, even though um, Spencer wasn't the starting quarterback anymore there, you had the, the belief in him to bring him to your program. You know, what was it about him that said, you know, this guy can be my starting quarterback and lead us to wins? Well, one, as a quarterback, I know how talented he is. I was at Oklahoma when we were recruiting Spencer. I was at Oklahoma when Spencer was a redshirt, was a freshman and then his redshirt freshman year, so I knew how talented talented he was but just, just on top of that I knew what kind of person he was he had been through battles before he's a leader and uh, knew he was a guy that was immensely talented as a quarterback but also a guy that you want leading your team in that at that starting quarterback position well you're talking about recruiting a lot I was quite fortunate to be recruited by you when you were on coach Sylvester Croom's staff at Mississippi State uh, I can still remember that vividly my parents took me around in a van and uh, you know you were quite kind to us we really appreciate that you know when it comes to your recruiting philosophy especially in an era with name image and likeness where kids can get paid you know what is your philosophy and has it changed now that kids are more and more asking you know what is the money situation yeah well one it was awesome recruiting you so thank you thank you uh, Two, it's 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 different, you know. I mean, uh, the core of recruiting and what you're, you know. I'm a people person, and I enjoy getting to know people. That hasn't changed. What guys are looking for maybe has changed a little bit, but you know, for me, it's still always going to be selling the people in our program, talking about myself as a person first and foremost, the opportunities that are available to young men if they were to choose to come to South Carolina academically and athletically, and, and uh, just trying to develop relationships with guys. And it's tougher because, you know, I'll be honest, you, you develop a relationship with a guy and get really, really close, and he chooses to go to another school for reasons that maybe he wasn't going to in years past. That's hard, but uh, just trying to do the best that we can for our program and bring the right kind of guys into our program. Coach, you're a great man, you're a great ball coach, and we appreciate you taking the time. Yep, thank you, thank thank you so time. much, Coach. YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.